Okay, today we're going to start talking about the new Mint Control's Raptor Tire Shredder. A few features and a couple of upgrades over the Delta Tire Shredder. One of the first upgrades you're going to notice is that to the chassis, we've instead of uh, installing a standard lock, we've installed a tubular key cam lock. Now, you're going to need a key to unlock that, but after you've unlocked it, you'll notice that the door won't come open. And that's because we've ad given it added security with an RFID electric solenoid latch. A swipe of the card and the door will now come open, revealing the contents inside. Now, each one of these tire shredders is equipped with a manual up and manual down switch, allowing you to manually raise or manually lower the tire shredder from inside the control cabinet. This is an extremely valuable feature. Previous to this, like with the Delta tire shredder, you actually had to manipulate a high voltage contactor, which was extremely unsafe. Having this switch will make it very easy for maintenance, for uh, just a general maintenance worker to come in here and be able to lift the teeth and get the debris out from uh, underneath the tire shredder as it begins to build up. Now, if you take a look at the teeth themselves, you'll notice that these teeth are made of 3 8 stainless steel. Not only that, the Raptor tooth here has been optimized for a passenger vehicle tire between 30 and 35 inches. These will shred a tire right open. Indeed, if you take a look right here, you'll see that they're double welded and that we've made the uh, chassis out of 3 8 plate steel. Much, much more durable than the uh, flimsy Delta tire shredder that you're used to seeing. In addition, instead of using a bushing block where the cam just rides on top of it, creating friction, we've added ball bearings into every single joint so that there's zero friction, meaning that the motor doesn't have to try very hard in order to lift the teeth and stop the car. And this, in the turn, has enabled us to use a low-voltage, high-torque motor as opposed to a high-voltage, low-torque motor. You'll notice that there's no linkage and there's, uh, there's no cams and knuckles that are required because literally it's a tunnel shaft that connects to the cam and it's done, making it extremely easy to maintenance, extremely easy to swap out and change parts. Now, inside we have our custom Mint Controls uh, motor control board that has been developed by our engineers here at Mint Controls. And you can see that we actually have extra real estate. We didn't need to use a whole bunch of electromechanical means to get this done. Everything is 21st century on the, on the network, as they say. Now, in addition, we actually have control of the teeth to a degree that was never possible before. We can actually lower the teeth, stop it, and reverse the teeth and bring it up. We can stop it halfway on the way down. Open it, close it. We have absolute 100% control of the teeth in a way that was never available with the Delta tire shredder. Those were always daisy chained like Christmas lights all the way down the lane. Well, now this tire shredder will actually act independently of any other thing if we decide we want it to. Another cool feature and functionality that's been provided. So, just to cap and review upgraded security for the box, RFID latch, a simple control mechanism, low voltage, high torque motor, manual override switch. 3 8 stainless steel double welded raptor shaped optimized teeth. 3 8 thick plate steel. In addition, this is a surface mount tire shredder. So what that means is instead of sitting below the ground and having precipitation and water and dirt and debris flow into it and clog it up the way they have been, this is raised above the ground and we've actually cut channels inside that allow the water to flow completely out of the unit reducing rust, reducing maintenance, reducing overall replacement, and keeping the value of the unit high. It's a better mousetrap.